folks. Hopefully it's not too loud. On my way, uh, we have a thing called garage sale, which is kind of like a marketplace or whatever, but uh, we're just on our way to go grab, uh, or I'm on my way, to grab a 56 Oldsmobile. So, hopefully, this thing's not a big turd, <laughs> and we can bring her back to life. All right, folks, you seen me bringing this back? We picked it up, I don't know, a little while ago now, but what we got here is a 56 Oldsmobile. So apparently the bits are all here. It's got a rocket. I'm told it ran at one point, but uh, we're going to go through it and see what happens here. This thing's, uh, I don't know, I think it's in really nice shape. Other than, like I say, the fenders have some little bit of rot in the bottom in there, but this, uh, I think all the bits are here. Anyways, let's just grab this. I'm just going to throw it in the shop. That way we can have a better look at it, have a look underneath, and see what's, what we all got anyways. Alrighty, folks, we got it in the shop. Bit of a struggle, but it is in. Check this thing out. We got, I'm gonna guess it's a 324 Olds rocket. It's got a four barrel. Looks pretty dang complete. It is, I don't know if that's good. It is like way. Mm -hmm. That is just way over full by a lot. Hmm. I don't know. It smells fine. I'm not sure what that's about. And that is nice and red. 
That is good. Is there coolant? Absolutely not. Why would there be coolant? <laughs> All right. Up here, some loose bits. Oh, that thing doesn't want to move very. Man, there's a lot going on with that. Holy, look at that. Well, it moves free, but holy, look at all the stuff going on here. There. Oh, that's right here. Yeah, whatever. Well, look at that, because that looks like it wants to stay at full throttle. It's not cool. Well, that's loose. I like it. That wheel, holy, that thing did not want to turn. Like, well, it still doesn't want to turn. <laughs> I have to figure that one out. That's a bugger. So, yeah, I'm guessing this was somebody's project. Don't know for sure. I bought it. He was starting to do a project. I guess lost interest or something, and this is how it came. So, I guess that's how a lot of guys get smoking deals on projects, just a half done. Half done or half started. I don't know how you want to look at it. Anyways, here we got our front bumper. The both fenders. We got the inner fender. There looks like the bumper support. Is that what that would be? I don't know what that is. And then uh, we got the rad cradle. I guess maybe it's up here, the inner support. I'm not sure. Overall, the car is not like terrible. If we go around, we got a little bit of rust right there. <laughs> well, maybe a little more than a little, but it's not terrible. But, you know, looks like somebody's schmoozed and fixed that up. Got the typical in the dog leg. Little down there, little over there. It's not too bad. Man, it just smells like, uh, smells like grandma's place. It's, uh, it's not bad. There's no funk inside, I'll tell you that. I like it. Oh, and then they got the cool bad wing. That thing is so awesome, those. So it's probably that one over the inner. We got those. Looks like all the inner trim has been pulled off. Front seat. Rear seat. Oh, I see a lot of tin cups. All right, I'm just gonna get these seats out just to see if we got parts in there. It looks like there's more stuff in the trunk, but I'm sure we didn't get keys. That was the one problem we had. All right, let's, uh, let me get this stuff out so I can at least have a better look at what we're doing here and then figure out how I'm gonna get into the trunk here. Alrighty, so plug wires, really old oil filter. Well, we got some clips. Oh, hey, my luck was right. Coffee cups are holding parts, parts and screws and stuff. So that's good to know. There's all of our trim. We go into the trunk. Looks like we got a lot of our interior. There's even our glove box. I just got. <laughs> figure out how we're gonna dig into there I'm gonna guess I'm gonna take those two screws off way down there should get us that should just loosen the latch off and then we can just lift the trunk up so I guess we'll give that it looks like some 7 16 let's grab us a ratchet and see if we can get that out when you're trying <laughs> To not overexert yourself, you bring out all the extensions. Oh, it's not a set of sixteenths. Come 
38s it is. Well, I think. We'll find out. It's definitely not going to be metric. <laughs> All right. All right. Look at that. Open sesame. I guess. Some trunk light here. There we go. We got our. Ooh, there's a little more rot back here. There's a glove box lid. This must be a hood prop. Wiper. Oh, we got a glove box. Some screws. Some stuff in there. What is this? Oh. More screws. Anything interesting though? Not really. This thing's pretty cleaned out. Mirror. Steps. The horns, really nice white wall tire. I like that. Oh, that is a cool color. Yeah, that thing's pretty nice. I like it. Check out the patchwork. Hey. Okay. Little foil action, I like it. A little of the same over here. Kind of shorted out there, it could have kept going. Well, there's not too much going on here. So I think next thing I'm gonna do, we'll just lift it up, just have a look underneath, just to see what's going on. Well, this side's not so bad. We got similar rust here. Not too bad. And there it is. <laughs> Always something. Oh yeah. You know, but it's not bad. That's completely doable. What's here? Just down there. And, well that's actually not bad. That's actually less than the 54 was. So. Well, see, that's a pretty scary gas pedal. Have to address that. Oh, oh, hey, I like it. That moved. Well, anyways, let's have a look see back here. Holy, look at these inner rockers. That's all right. That looks okay. Looks like it's been. Sitting in a, a swamp or something. Golly, the surface rust under there is a bit. Fuel tank? Questionable. <laughs> Exhaust? Questionable. Look at that. It's been the old muffler patch or something. Oh, there you can see it. All right, how's this side look? Well, it's not terrible. Kind of seems to be common. Holy, though, eh? That is a solid car. Well, we already see it. A hole in the floor there, but man, that's an easy fix. This thing, man, I, I like that thing. All right, so well, that one turns. See, they can tell. Look at the rust level on here, right here. It, it looks like it was buried something. You can almost see where the rust line is. Where this car probably sat like rocker deep or something. Like the way the rust is underneath here. Oh, everything broke there. 
Interesting. Well, that exhaust is going to be near good. Hey, just a weird rust. Just a weird rust. All right. Well, it's fine if it runs first before I give a crap about this wheel. We're going to go with that. All righty. Well, I'm going to let her down. And uh, not too much for bounty. It was pretty cleaned out already. All right, we got our light going. Uh, just trying to assess everything. So that is vacuum. It's heat. I don't know if that was leaking or they just disconnected the heater stuff. Um, I don't know. That seems fine. Oh, no, that choke is... That's just something I'm not getting with that. Ugh. I guess the choke is like stuck stuck but it's just fine we don't need choke right now I'm feeling maybe it did say they had it running but we should maybe pull the plugs because I have a scope now quickly scope all the cylinders make sure there's nothing nothing bad going on inside uh, before we stick a battery on it and see what it does here this thing right away though, I'm just gonna lube all this stuff just so. Cause look how slow all that goes before it returns. I mean it's getting better, but man, there's a lot of there's a lot of mechanical stuff there. Oh what are we gonna use? I could well, I would use the croil, but I don't have a lot of that. <laughs> We're going to keep that going as long as I can. We'll use that for special occasions. All right. We're just, this is that weird, it kind of sticks to everything, so. All right. We'll let that settle for a bit. And I guess what I'll do now is we'll pull plugs. Everything, but as long as I don't move the wires, we should be okay. <laughs> Let's have a look see. Oh, that one is like dead to the top. There's a way to do this. Here, let me see. Is this? No, that just keeps flipping it. This one or this one? Nope. That must be the bottom one. There we go. Look at that. This one's got side cameras. Oh, the valves, Ugh, just looks carbony. Holy! Really? I don't know what that is. If you can see that. Hopefully, you can see that. Look at that mess. Is there pistons? So that looks okay. I mean, doesn't look bad. This one just looks super carbony. That's all. I don't know how bad that is for you folks to see, but. Looks good. Little bit of rust in there, but I don't think it's terrible. This one, some weird rust nuggets up there. Boy, is there carbon? Holy man. I don't even know what's going on there. That's like a heck of a ridge. Why does that look so messed up? Weird. Must be just the way the head is. And get over here. All right. 
Just a little bit of rust up on top. Mm. Oof, bit of rust over there. Hmm. Well, look at the other side quick. Look at it with you folks. Now that valve's open. Just a lot of carbon. There's some rust on the top of the piston, like cylinders. Look at that crack though, I don't get what that is. That must be just like super, super carbon buildup. Look at that. Insane. And this one looks good. Let's see if we can get the, dang it. Piston, that looks fine. Oop, we're stuck on top again. Um, which one was it? This one. Oh man, the carbon, insane. Can't get a good, can't get a good look see in that one. Oish. That one does not look very happy. Holy. Let's see if I can. Struggling to. Oh man. What am I looking at? So that's the head. Dang it. Yuck. Definitely some stuff going on in there. I think we'll we'll pick a this one up and uh, have a try in a bit. Well, we soaked her down with a bit of croil. I'll have to get some more of that Marvel Mystery oil. That would have been a better one for this, but hey, the coils like right up there too. So anyways, we'll do that and that. I guess I never looked here. I should check this since it's the easiest to check now. Golly, that is for the brakes and the pedal actually felt like it did something. So we should uh, have a quick check in there and see. Hey, that's not great. Golly. Ah. How does a feller <laughs> get that off? I don't want to break that off. That'll be a problem. All right. Well, this might be a two-handed, a two-handed scenario. There we go. Somebody had that on tight. Survey says, well, there's actually a little bit in there. Is there like a full and an empty line? No, I don't see it. Hmm. I guess the fact there's some on there. Hmm. Smells like brake fluid. That's kind of cool. Cause those things are crazy. Hopefully they work. And the pedal goes up and down. Like I, it feels like it goes does something. <clears throat> Hopefully it works. We'll put a little more fluid in there. I don't know. There's no actual level. I just it's just got a stick. I guess if there's some on the stick, you're good. I don't know. I don't know what full is. All right, well, we'll put a little bit of brake fluid in there. Well, no, we'll do it after. Ooh. I'll keep the the shtick out so I have a reference to look to make sure. We're letting that coil work. I'm gonna go in for supper. And I guess we'll just have a look-see. Figure out what we're gonna do after supper. Let's put it that way. All right, Let's see if my battery's any good. Usually they're not. 
Most of mine are pretty bummed, bummed batteries. All right. Let's see here, here. I'm guessing purple at start. Well, guess we see. Oh, negative. I think it's my, my thing is no good. Well, maybe that's not starter. I would think it is. Hmm. All right, should be set. Dang, damn it. Ready? Why does this not go? What am I missing? Is the ground? No. I got this off. I can see there's an arm up there, so I'm just gonna see if I pry on that, if that bugger will. Well, that just does the engagement. <sighs> bugger. This starter sucks. <laughs> Like something stuck. Arrgh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think that armature thing is st stuck in there. It's turning nice though. All right, let's lower it down. Let's have a look. We got all the plugs out. We did put some oil in there. We can try to do a compression test. May as well try to do it right. <laughs> See what the survey says here. It turns over nice. I don't know if it actually has a lot of compression. Well, maybe we will, maybe we won't. This thing doesn't seem to hold very well. <laughs> All right. We'll try again. See if this holds. Up. I don't have a good compression tester. Well, I was going to do a compression test, but I don't actually have a compression tester, so... All we can do is listen to its gloriness. Doesn't sound like a lot of wind, but it turns over nice. I guess the next thing we would do is... I guess put power to the coil just to see if we have ignition sparky spark inside of there. That would be the, the next test. I want to see if that oil's been working for that gas pedal. If it's scary or not.
Hmm. It's bouncing back nice. Sure feels crappy in there though, I'll tell you. Up here says... Well, that part works nice. Nicey nice. Okay. All right. I am going to admit, I like that there's no fenders on here. The feller can really get into here. Too bad here. Man, does everything seem like it was sitting submerged? <clears throat> Everything's got weird rust on it. the light and just see if there's anything there. Come on. They're not looking good. Oop, well. Now let's see. Nope. Try to do the old flick in there. A hard one to get at. This one I can't see. <laughs> There's a lot going on in that sucker. I can't get my hands in there. is a bugger. That's a hard one for two hands here. Mm. Look, but I'm getting zapped here. That's what we're looking for, some of that action in there. All right, got it. The old Morski flick. <laughs> Smash. Ah, oh, that had to happen, didn't it? Why? Why would you do that? Oh, at least I can find it. Silly screws. Well, we have gas. Well, you know what we should do? Pinch off that fuel hose. Just in case there's a chance it'll fire off. I don't wanna, I don't know what's in that fuel tank. So, let's do that first. <laughs> uh, fill the bowl. these carburetors work. Kind of 
one looks like a holly almost. All right. Ignition. Hmm. Let's make sure we have spark still. I did buy one of these devices, so you kind of put them in line and you should see spark. Just to make sure. Yep. I don't know if this thing's spraying enough. We'll give it a big drinky poo. Still got spark. I don't know. That was a lot of gas. Just <clears throat> trying to choke it. Try something a little more potent, maybe? I don't know. Kind of sounds low on compression. If you ask me, but. Not happy, but <laughs> uh, we don't have enough compression, I don't think. Sounds like it wants to, but man, that sounds like it's got some super low compression. Hmm, what do we do? ATF? ATF. This should help it get some compression. I don't have much oil though, so. Hopefully this just goes wherever it's gotta go. Seems very close to wanting to go. Give it a little shot of gas to help fire, <laughs> fire that all up. Survey's it. That is a negative. Well, it seems like it's got really low compression. Um, I guess we're gonna let it sit, see what happens. I have that compression tester. I got that snap on one, but I guess I'll have to try to exchange it. And I got that toolbox that came in there, but it's not very, uh, not very good. Doesn't hold pressure or anything. 
when it did pop the first time, it was like 75 pounds, but I don't know what they would have climbed to. So, I mean, we only checked two cylinders, but it didn't do any good if it just kept bouncing back to zero. So, um, I guess I'll just let it sit because we've kind of cycled it, moved it. We'll see if anything kind of frees up. I should drop some oil in the cylinders again, but I'll uh, just let it soak and then we'll wait till tomorrow night again and we'll try and uh, try it again. See if she'll want to go. It sort of sounded like it wanted to fire, but yeah, I just wasn't happy about it. <laughs> I couldn't say I wasn't happy. It just didn't want to do anything. So kind of gives me the, the, the idea that it's actually pretty low on compression. Um, yeah. So, eh, we'll try again tomorrow. You know, yeah, maybe I'll pull the cylinder. I'm going to pull the plugs quick. I want to show that, but I'm going to pull the plugs. I'll throw a bit of ATF in there. We'll let everything just soak in there. Hopefully that'll free up some stuff. Maybe pop up the compression a wee bit. Uh, and then when we try again tomorrow, maybe it'll go. I hope so. That way we can start putting some stuff together, maybe. I don't know. Everything's there. Everything sounds like it should work, so. We'll keep trying. All right, last night we shot her with some oil. Hopefully, it soaked and did something. We'll see. I'm gonna give her, we've got the charger on there. We're gonna go hit her with a little bit of fuel and with any luck, this thing's gonna fire up. <laughs> I'm hugely optimistic here, but hey, it could happen. All right, get a little charge on there. Let's fill some floats. All right. Ignition. <clears throat> pull the plugs we're gonna give her another shot of oil we got to we're definitely got a compression issue so I got to get that running the next time and I got to keep it running just hopefully to get it hot and uh, it'll stay running I guess anyways all right let's do the plugs quick This time, I'm gonna do my darndest to keep this thing running. I'm gonna fill the bowls up until everything starts running out of it somewhere. Okay. Ignition? Man, how do we do this? <laughs> I want to make sure we don't run out of smoke here.
for a while we'll try oh my starters acting up again you bugger <laughs> all right let me find my bar we gotta go pry that thing again here I know what I gotta do just can I do it golly can I see it hmm. I think I'll have to let this fog out a bit before we can get in there. Oh, there it is. Can we? I'm gonna get in there and try to figure this out. starter where the arm throw out is it's not working quite good I gotta have to spray in there and loop it up but yeah we're gonna loop that up we'll rock that back and forth I'm gonna let it clean out in here for a little bit then we'll we'll try it again <laughs> it seems like it's good now you probably got any spots out of there and she's uh, she's good to rock so I filled the fuel bowl up. I'm just gonna grab my jug. I wanna see if this fuel pump is actually pulling fuel. If there's anything in that tank, uh, you know. I think it is. I think my, my stopper hasn't been working down there. Maybe it's been running off the tank. That's not great. <laughs> well, it's been running good considering. All right, let's see here. Everything clear. Get a little pump. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That starter. Alright, survey says. Think pushes fuel. That is. I mean, it smells kind of junky, but it's not terrible. I don't know. I'll let it run on it. Looks clean. Other than its color. And we'll try it. It's worse it happens. Gotta clean a car. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, uh, is there a filter? Well, I don't even know now. Doesn't look like it, does it? Yeah. We'll live on the edge. Well, that's all right. All right. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we'll lift it up and see if the transmission works now. So I lifted this car up just enough that the wheels don't touch. And I proceeded to wire in a simple switch here. So that's my ignition. Awesome. Give her a little 
little stamp. Hmm. Need a little help here. Perfect. All right. Oh, there goes park neutral. now it drove forward this other wheel spun this one is a little on the tight side so we know dragging in here this one was a complete bugger so I'm gonna lift it up more we're gonna pull we're gonna see what's going on I think the brakes are hung up so at least we'll try to beat on the drum see if we can get that loose that one I don't know um, I should dig into them and have a look. So far we have, it runs. It seems to drive. I don't know, like the wheels turn. We just, the brakes sort of seem to work. We gotta confirm that everything's okay. We gotta put some brake fluid in there. Hey, not bad. I'm pretty happy. This thing actually runs really well. Doesn't seem to smoke or do anything. So, eh. left-handed threads <laughs> well that's definitely gonna be a problem I don't want to wreck the brakes in these drums <laughs> if my wheels are working I kind of want to keep this together Left us a nice nail in here. Survey says ignition. Brake. All oh, right. Stranny's 
are weird. It goes park neutral, drive. Snooky. Well, it moves and stops with way less effort than I normally have to put in. I think our next step is going to be let's just put this whole front end back together. Somebody took it all apart. I am going to reverse engineer all of this. We're going to make it look like a car. So, on that note, let's commence the uh, front end rebuild uh, now.
That was a success. She got a little warm, but didn't leave us stranded, eh, bud? <laughs> I always bring up I always bring my pup with me in case I gotta go for a walk, right? Gives you gives a reason that we somebody to walk with. <laughs> hey buddy. Anyways, I'm pretty ha I'm super happy. So feller didn't lie, I guess it did run. Must have sat for a while because she was a little stuck. Or not stuck, but uh I guess the rings or something. Now she fires up like a champ and is uh, just good to go. Just have to go look into, like I say, it's a little warm steam. And I got to go check the rad. I don't know if there's something with it. Needs some more interior work and stuff done. But I mean, overall, it does run and drive, eh, bud? The brake on that side that we had done is thicking a little bit. So I guess at some point what we're going to have to do is go through it and uh, we'll have to pull all the wheel cylinders and just clean them. I think everything seems to be working fine other than that the tranny was shifting fine i think i'm pretty sure it was shifting into the last gear but this thing's uh just hit the key and it just goes A little smoky so i guess the hood i guess needs a little bit of adjustment here you can see the inner layer i guess all the spot welds popped off so the hood's kind of lifting up over in the corner here yeah you can see a little pukage on the red so i'll have to look into that but it runs like a champ the carb's actually starting to run a lot better i think it's because i put some new fuel in it it's uh starting to run some better fuel through it but other than that i'm super happy Anyways, folks, I think that's where we're going to leave this one. I uh, want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.